and we've arrived at Apache Junction, Arizona, where we'll spend a little over a month here. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Follow the Sun RVing. with a beautiful memorial to my uncle. Today we went on a hike with my cousin and family. I think Darcy hikes to the flat iron almost every time she's in Arizona. She and Kenzie left us in the dust. Larry, I think, held back for us. This is actually the easy part of the hike. I can tell you from experience, which you'll find out later in this video, that flat iron is not for the faint of heart. what's called siphon draw here. These pictures do not do justice of how steep it is. I'm not so sure about this. And Larry's telling me it's a piece of cake. Behind Larry is Flatiron, where Darcy and Kenzie are going. Larry's pointing out the route to Mike. I, on the other hand, am not wanting to go any higher. I must say it was a really nice view from where we were at. And Larry had told me that this was the hard part. The rest was easy, but we still went back down. Okay, so Darcy wanted to go to Flatiron again, so her and Larry did that, while Crystal and I and Mike took a different route. a pretty well marked path unlike going to siphon draw when you move over to federal land and it's open and i think there's snow straight out that way too on the far 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 mountain yeah. oh yeah yeah you're right absolutely you can see it and that that should be towards the san francisco mountains that way maybe more this way i'm not sure it was a good hike and didn't get rained on. Happy New Year! We were told about Silly Mountain Park, so we hiked that. It's about 3.7 miles that we walked today. And over there's Flatiron, which Mike still wants to do. It was a fairly easy hike with well-marked trails. This is looking into Gold Valley. This is quite the chewed up saguaro. Huff and Puff was a little steep, but not bad. A 
now we're on to Mike's favorite part of the day. And again, his is the little one, mine is the big one. Another day, another hike. It's a really kind of pretty walk. With, we're going up and down and you get all the different choya cactuses and saguaros and it was in a burned area. So, but it's really pretty. We're walking towards Massacre Falls and it's interesting to me that we can find ice in the desert, but ice we found. This waterfall only happens after it rains, which isn't often in the desert, so we were very fortunate to get to see it on this hike. Bingo. It was a very pleasant six mile hike. It's a day off from hiking as we needed to do a little shopping. And look at this treasure. There was quite the line for this COVID testing, which I'm going to talk about in another video. Getting to visit with my aunt. So it's the big day. Our legs are rusted and we're going to attempt flat iron. I have to tell you, I'm not real excited. But how can you pass up a hike on a day like today? Still in the lower part of the trail. Really steep. We call them rollers. All the rocks that go out from under your feet. Trying to make it up that. There you go. And then we're going to go to the right there or left. And then the trail turns to this. I think we're operating and that is siphon draw and then that is where we were. So enter the siphon. This is siphon draw. Oh shoot. So this is clearly wet from the New Year's Eve rain and we do not want to be on wet rocks. So it just never seems to end going up this upper siphon and the trail is basically non-existent. If you're lucky, you might see some sort of a trail marker. Again, I say this is not for the faint of heart. I'm not afraid of heights, and there were times I was really scared. It just keeps looming more ominous. And we're getting close. See that cliff on the right? That's flat iron. And we run into more ice. Okay. Almost to the tip now. What a climb. Of flat iron. And yeah, the view is beautiful. Although, there's downtown Phoenix. And then we got a ton of people up here. A family that you have to take care of or anything like that, you know, it's a great way to get around and see the country. 
and see those rocks over there? I mean, it's like climbing, it's like climbing rocks. No other way to explain it. And then way over there, you can see snow on the top of that hill. So I climb all the way to Flatiron to get a view, and Mike tells me to stay away from the cliff, but I'm not really that close. And you can see so in this picture, but if you look in the video that I did, those people are sitting with their feet hanging over the edge. I was way far away from that. <laughs> Getting ready for the de scent. There were a couple of times that one, I told Mike I was scared shh and also that I was not very happy with him right now. <laughs> Again, it's hard to tell here, but these people are on the edge where I had to climb up. And I swear the person in yellow is holding on for dear life. What goes up must come down, and even the downstairs are not easy. And there's a lot more behind us, behind this picture. Yes, sir. Don't tell Grandma she can't do this. He finally gets a smile out of me, but that's because we're pretty close to being done. That hike is a one and done for me. <music> Meanwhile, back at home. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Follow the Sun RVing, and stay tuned for the next one. See you around.